I like this. Uh, it's completing well. We don't need it all the time, so I'm just going to remove some parts to give a bit more air. But uh, these uh, sounds, I can use it to create some uh, just some floating butterflies, or you'll see. I was using shaper box there. I like this moment here. I just want it to be longer. Stop here. Sometimes it kills me. do this there we go it's working I wish I was a more patient artist with this kind of detail just drives me crazy Yay! I hope it works though. I want it to be until here. I don't think I'm going to go that direction. 
I'm just gonna grab this and bring it at the end and uh, let's just recall this it, you know I'm gonna I want this track to uh, I don't really want a spooky vibe I want something positive as much as possible and the spot has all the material to do that and uh, there's some So the way a lot of people are confused about multiband dynamic, it's three compressors in this case, and you decide, so one compressor, this one is treating this portion, and what we call the crossover point is this frequency, which is like almost this, uh, so I could write it down and be exact. Okay, so now it's the same. And I want this to be treating until what, 24, uh, 290, yeah, something like that. So if I do this, now you see this part getting some presence, this nice texture there. attack I'm gonna take a slow attack fast release although it's not percussive the problem with this is the high end is starting to have uh, it's as a nice texture but I want to control it more uh, so there's one thing we can do in Ableton which is we can create a macro which will allow, uh, allow me to have the highs the mids the lows that I can control independently so let's see how to do this not super complicated so I do Apple G and it creates the macro itself Oops, and no, I don't need this now. Um, and the first chain is, of course, the multiband dynamic. I'm going to add another chain, another chain. And this one will be uh, the lows. This one will be the mids. And this will be the highs. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this three times, uh, two times. Copy one, drop it in the mids, copy it in the lows. In the low, what I'm going to do is I'm going to solo this one, the low. Mids, I'm going to solo the mids, and the highs, I'm going to solo the high. So now we have our rack if I just, no mids anymore, just the highs, and now I can control how much highs I want but it's not just that I can put effects on just the highs and on this what I see is the ero erosion could be fun just want to make sure I'm doing the right thing Want to add some glittering? Not sure yet. Uh, the warmifier, the vinyl distortion is cool, but the one I have in mind is the saturator. Drive it. Oh, 
Okay, here we go. Analog clip, soft sign. Wave shaping is something I like. Now it's starting to get warmer. That's what saturation does. It, saturation is a form of distortion. It just creates harmonics. And now it doesn't sound like digital like it was before. It's a bit more crunchy. And what I want is now to drop the wet dry. And uh, we can turn that up a little bit. It's like uh, scratching. Okay, I don't want to go too crazy either. <laughs> Just a little bit. There's a bit of clicking, which I don't dislike. Some purists would not like that, but I don't really mind. To see what's going on, I can just come here. It's because it's not starting flush. It's fine, I'm gonna put a bit of attack. Probably help. some effects here. Uh, reverb would be fun. Although we can't really hear much. But the fun part is if we uh, not cut the, the... You know, we can cheat a little bit. So I can extend go a little bit lower so that the crossover is not flush. solo as well. Whoop. I think I'm not sure if I can put on. Uh, seems like I can't. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. More solo and then this one and then put this really, really low. We're kind of cheating here to give a little bit more presence, the warmth. Reverb is not really effective. It's not doing what I thought. I'm gonna have to get uh, the uh, Max for Live convolution. That will do the job. Now, there we go. That's like get some fun harmonics in here. now is it's getting somewhere else there's all these different textures now
am so fed up of MIDI today, you have no idea. Okay, so, oh, because it's right here in the middle. Yeah, okay. Should be playing. What am I missing again? See, this is a sign that I've been making too much music today. I am lost. It happens. I'm just going to convert this to audio in. killing me. It was working before.